Hey everyone, I'm back, and today we're going to be talking about Seven Samurai, and this movie came out in 1954, and it's directed by Akira Kurosawa, if I pronounced that correctly, and I've never seen any of his movies before, this is the first one I've seen, and I also know that this movie is kind of considered to be a huge classic, and it was the last movie that was on my 100 movie bucket list, finally scratched it off, and I thought this movie was good, I didn't love it, which I probably going to get a lot of hate for. Probably not as much hate that I did when I talked about Lawrence of Arabia, because that movie just didn't connect with me very well. But this one I liked better. But I will say, just like Lawrence of Arabia, I felt uh, this movie was a bit too long by like an hour, which I can do without. And I didn't really uh, feel the runtime throughout the entirety of it. For the first 40 minutes, I was with it, and I was enjoying where it was going, and overall, the first hour is pretty well paced, just establishing all these different characters, the farmers and the samurai. Like, those characters are well-defined. But once we get to an hour and 10 minutes later, I kind of uh, took a quick uh, break uh, just to use the restroom, and I... I paused it and uh, looked at the runtime. Let's see, how far into it are we? Because I took uh, two separate uh, breaks. So one uh, when I was in 40 minutes in and I just had to take care of something and they went right back into it a couple minutes later and started watching it again. And then I paused it and it was an hour and 10 minutes and it felt like an hour had gone by, but really it was only 30 minutes. And that's why I thought, oh no, don't do this to me. From that point on until we get to that second half of the movie, I just uh, found myself to be somewhat uninvested in what was going on. There's some great scenes, and I really enjoyed the third act of this movie. And the action is entertaining to watch and well handled. And the movie is overall a well shot, especially for a 50s movie. And I like the music as well. That's another thing that it, I really appreciated was good music. In this movie, uh, characters often uh, say uh, what they're feeling, and in any other movie, uh, that would just be cheap and uh, lame, and you would uh, much rather it to be subtle, but in this movie, since there's so many characters, and dare I say too many characters, <laughs> it does add uh, to the overall uh, film that, oh, okay, multiple different perspectives going around, multiple uh, different ideas being thrown, and... It works because uh, these are all different people, and uh, it adds to their character. And one, uh, I guess, criticism you can uh, say about this movie, for me personally, this might not be the case for a lot of people watching this movie, but I just don't really see myself revisiting this movie. Like, sure, there are great scenes uh, that I really enjoyed, but you have to sit through three and a half hours to... <laughs> really get to all of that stuff and there's like an hour of stuff that I don't care about and going back to the runtime it's not necessarily that everything is like boring me to tears in that hour that I can do without but rather it just it doesn't really help me have a full timeline of what happens in the movie and what I mean by that is I can remember it certain elements in the beginning and it establishes the villains and they're just bandits we are going to rob this village, and uh, these people are desperate, so they go looking for a samurai, or seven samurai, as the title implies. <laughs> That's uh, what it winds up being, and so they go and uh, recruit all these people, and then they eventually go back to the village and train everyone, and then eventually we get to, to these action scenes of the villagers uh, fighting off the bandits. And that's uh, good and all, but then I have to remind myself but the movie was much longer than that so what happened which is uh, why i'm thankful that i take notes while watching movies <laughs> so that's really my biggest criticism with this movie it just could have been shorter and i would have liked it a lot more and it's not that uh, these scenes that i can do without are bad it's just that you could have communicated uh, this information in a way that didn't take up uh, almost three and a half hours long. Like, it could have been, I don't know, just three hours, and it would have been okay not dragging on for way too long. And that's about all I have to say about Seven Samurai. I liked it. I would recommend it. Just to keep in mind, this is a three and a half hour long film, so just go in prepared for that. <laughs> 
And if you're willing to sit through all that, then I think you'll enjoy it. If you're not willing to watch a long movie, then uh, you're going to have some issues here. So check it out. I give it a positive rating. Thumbs up. Check it out. And with all that being said, I'm going to give Seven Samurai a 7 out of 10. No pun intended when I gave it a 7 out of 10 for Seven Samurai. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of Seven Samurai and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Charlie's Angels. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.